Every new law, soon to be introduced by enemies within my church, will mock the truth laid down by my father. Thursday, October 17, 2013 at 8.38 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, if only more people would believe truly in me, their Jesus, then they would find peace in their hearts. Where there is no trust, there is fear. Fear prevents the love of God from penetrating your soul and then you become a prisoner. Nothing, only my light, will lift the burden. When I tell you the truth, I do this only because I love you and yearn for the day when we will be united, finally. Do not fear the truth. My love will fill you with the courage and the strength to stand firm and remain true to me in all things. I protect all of those of you who ask me, but it is only the souls who abandon themselves fully to me, who will have no fear. The wickedness of the beast will be disguised as charming and modern and it will be revealed to all behind the veneer of humanitarianism, charity and care for the poor. Do not believe, for one minute, that Satan's disciples will ever show you their true colors. Every lie presented, to replace the truth, will appear to be logical and for the common good of all. Every new law, soon to be introduced by enemies within my church, will mock the truth laid down by my Father in the Ten Commandments, given to Moses. Every gesture, subtle though it may be, will be designed to insult me, Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. The deceiver, through his servants, cannot resist mocking me, for he hates me. He will insult every vessel in my church through actions, words and the addition of satanic symbols. Only those who know the truth will see these abominations and understand exactly what such gestures really mean. The power of Satan can confuse, distract and torment my disciples. He, Satan, will never leave you alone, especially when you bear witness to the truth. But know this, he can be overcome when you trust in me completely. When you abandon yourselves before me, he will not be given the power to influence your faith in me. He, Satan, is finished. His reign, painful though it was for humanity, is at an end. His final insult before me will be carried out through the Antichrist, who will imitate me and fool the world into believing that he is me, Jesus Christ, and that he has come to save the world. When you know the truth, you will be able to withstand this temptation. When you remain firm to the truth, contained in the Most Holy Bible, you will be saved. The final attack will be swift and then I will show the world the truth and only those who are full of hatred for me will deny it. Do not fear, for I am the only Savior of humanity. Only my love will sustain you. Fear only for those poor souls who will spit at me as I reach out, finally, to take them into the new paradise. Your Jesus.